too familiar for Bama. A run out at the Georgia Dome. Adam Griffith gets us started here in Atlanta. And Ross will take it out of the end zone. And he is tripped up just beyond the Rounding to start the game with a sprint and pass to John Ross. Here's Gaskin. And as he muscles his guard. And incomplete to the outside of Ross. He's been the primary return man since the injury to Eddie Jackson. They came after that first half. And it takes a heck of a Washington bounce. Look at this. All the way inside the 20. Play action to open up the game. Downfield and nearly intercepted by the all. The flag comes in. It looks like Jonah Williams may have moved. Full start. Offense. Number 73. Five-yard penalty. Here's Damian Harris, and he picks up maybe three yards. The Chick-fil-A impact players with Bama. They weren't ready for the play. And Hurts looks like he has nowhere to go, and he is taken down by JoJo Mass. Dante Pettis, good return man, is back. Fields it harmlessly. Take yardage any way you can get it. 24 yards in the exchange of punts. Here's Ross again. As he ducks down. Team balance. Rounding on second and six. That was well overthrown. Browning's got to step up. Tuck runs for the first down and slides down past mid. Play action, pressure, they go back to Gaskin. A lot of room in front, and Gaskin wiggles his way. That's all he's been accustomed to. LeVon Coleman can barely get back to the line of scrimmage. Jonathan Allen will drop. Second down pass is complete inside the 20 yard line. To Coleman. Patiently looked for something and earned a Huskies first down. Rounding to pass on first down. To the end zone he goes. Into the hands of Dante Pettis. Husky strike first. As Cameron Clay drive. Watch this by Browning. Single coverage as Pettis comes in motion. A little stutter step. The corner bites, and he beats him to the end zone on a perfect throw over the outside shoulder by Jake Browning. And the Huskies strike first. After starting on the 12, their first one. Our Darius Stewart from the two-yard line. And coverage unit able to find him here. Harris going to test that right side. May have been at 230 pounds. Hurts downfield and open was OJ. It's best when they play fast. Harris gets that little crease and then one point to run to their left. Cam Robinson, a future NFL draft pick, first rounder. They're going to run behind him as well. Nice job blocking on Elijah Qualls and open up the lane. Short run of three yards by Harris. Hurts. You see that strength of Jalen Hurts as the offensive line gives him a little push at the end for another. Any further, he is a powerful young man. Here's Scarborough now as he gets past the would-be tackler and balances his way. Hurts going to keep again and just trip up that time. Great response drive by the time. Another dose of Bo Scarborough at the other two.
for Scarborough. Looks a little bit like the guy that wore number two in the Alabama jersey last year with that kind of run. Was his knee down before the ball crossed the plane? Doesn't look like it from that angle. The response by the tie. A tempo and a whole lot of power. The freshman quarterback determined and a late drive. And then the big super soft did look a little bit like Derrick Henry. There. Well, if it's in the end zone, he should leave it there. Well, he's taking it out. And once again, all that talent getting fast through. and sideline to sideline. Baskin, nothing is there. That was Durant. Gaskin out into space, and he's able to utilize that speed for a first down. Play action as he goes to the tight end sample. Let's go. Second and two. And pushing ahead for that line to make. Here's Ross now as he gets past the first man. Ball is on the ground. Looks like he's trying to cover it up, but the ball is ripped out. I don't know if that's Minka Fitzpatrick that rips it out. I think it is. And Anthony Averett that rips it out. And Alabama in this opportunistic defense gets the ball in plus territory. And when that happens, they are dangerous. In the regular season, eight Step the receivers to the top of your screen, and Hurts will pass out of it. Here's Ridley now on the sideline. NFL average only 34%. Good job by the offensive line and the extra effort from Damian. Pitch to Harris. Hurts is going to run it himself. Harris lead blocker. And the freshman quarterback puts movement in the backfield. He was leaning yep. forward anticipating the snap, Damian Harris. Full start. Offense. Number 11. Five-yard penalty. Third down. Now they're going to get Dieter as well. Lane Kiffin changing the play at the line of scrimmage. They might need to call timeout. The late clock down to two. As Kiffin, the offensive coordinator in his third year at Alabama, soon will leave to become the Alabama. head coach. There's Hurts. With Hurts. And he will carry the ball. The wide receiver, Stewart, stayed in the backfield on third and six and took a convention. 26 on a year. This from 41. As that'll be the, the end, end of the first quarter. Of the first quarter here. The coaches told us was like having a coach on the field. Very smart guy. Will take the knee. Levon Coleman probing his way and only able to get two yards. There's Gaskin out of the backfield again, but they go to the other side to McClatcher and look at the pursuit by Tony Brown. Third down, but they've all been under seven yards. Conservative play call that Jonathan Allen tries to kick it between the numbers and the hash on the right side. The second time they've kicked away from the, that side, and it full digs again. Good self-scouting by Washington, and another great bounce by Viscano. Star Pro. Well, if he could play a big role today. You've got the ability to run. You've got skill guys around you. As we see Alabama pick up another. This bowl prep has been good for that. Scarborough now on the pitch, and this time the Huskies are able to get to him. Holland. Second and ten. Hurts pressured, able to turn away from Vea. 
Trying to extend this play and then goes out after just third and nine. That ball was snapped on the One sideline pitch. that time by Kendrick. One foot in, snatched the ball. Remember, this guy was a graduate transfer from Bowling Green. When he was a senior at Bowling Green, he caught 94 passes for over 1,000 yards. Transferred to Alabama to become a more well-rounded player. Excellent staying at home for the playoff. Second and 12. Scarborough met, and he still goes ahead for four yards. Hurts slings it downfield, and that is beyond. Skies it inside the 10 yard line where Pettis not to go back home and work elsewhere. Browning to pass on first down and gets it complete to Pettis. Second and three. Browning pressure steps up but ripped down by Joshua Frazier. Browning on third and seven. Too far to the outside. Two yard line. And now you see the shift from Diggs. As it was played to that right side, but went out of bounds, and it will be out here. Hurts, does he have time to? Pressured and then tripped up in Washington territory. Hurts met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. 45. Third and 12 for Hurts. A lot of time. Searching for options. Wow, great and throwing coverage. it out of bounds. Great coverage for Bama. As JK launches this again. And nearly a sensational effort All-American. Dangerous pass by Browning as Ronnie Harrison. 215 pounds, read the slant. Corners got outside, safety's coming for inside help, and just perfect timing by Ronnie Harrison. Second and ten. Browning moves to the outside of this. Here comes Williams. Browning steps up. Williams trying to track him down, and they get to him. How can it was Harrison and Skeno back out there? This is not a good-looking punt by Skeno this time at all. It struggles to reach midfield and then does take a Washington bounce. See if they go smash mouth again. Play action. Coming after Hurts. And he was looking for Dieter on a I think he made a play on him. Scarborough now. Good looking run down the left side as JoJo McIntosh. Back to business for the big guy. And another first down. First down, Buda Baker coming after Hurts, and he's got to throw it away. Intentional grounding. Offense. I ruled the ball is placed at the spot of the foul with a loss of down. Second down. Check it with him. Hurts to Howard, and he was met right away. Great. Put into the hole from the penalty. Josh Jacobs met Kevin King and Carpenter. Their defense, and they have responded. Oh, they're going to get a great field. Nice job. Well done by Scott. Great 2-16 to play in the first half. As they go with fly sweep motion. McClatcher. Look at Chico McClatcher out to the 20-yard line. Boy. Browning now to pass on first down with that breathing room. Smartly tucks and makes the most of it. Second and six. Ross, receiver screen. Well defended until Ross put on the move. It'll be third and less than one.
KJ Carter Samuels comes in, stops behind the center, and goes ahead in their bowl game. Carter Samuel goes past the center, comes back, and takes a quick snap. Ooh, that was dangerous as Marlon Humphrey was breaking. Fletcher in motion. Browning pressured. Intercepted Ryan Anderson. The tide defense rolls again. Touchdown of the year for them. Here's the guy who made the play. Ruben Foster is going to blitz. Ryan Anderson is going to flatten out and play coverage. Those two guys couldn't have played it any better. Foster forces the throw away. Ryan Anderson there for the interception. And for the 11th time this season, Alabama has a defensive touchdown. Their offense not able to capitalize on field position and score. Their defense does what they've done all season. And for Jake Browning. His first interception in his last 104 pass attempts. And it was as costly as could. Here's Jake Browning right back into the teeth of this defense. Gaskin on the delay as he's wrestled down. Get a touchdown, but the defense was able to, to help him out. Gaskin again, and it'll be other than that touchdown drive, Washington playing uphill the entire first half. Here's a good gainer there by Gaskin. 11 defensive touchdowns on the season. Browning chased this time, and he will throw it out of bounds with 20. A pretty doggone good. Browning with time, but he threw it behind Pettis. Ready guard move, deflected in a stance, so make it third and 15. I think Washington will run start. the football now. Offense, number 56, five yard penalty, third down. They want to just keep it. And as you said, that is the choice to run the ball. And as we're going to Alabama Foster. on the board for its first score, Crimson tied by 10. Here in Atlanta. Here in Atlanta. Darius Stewart chooses to take it out. And he gets out close to as we get underway here in the second half. And Hurts look at all the space and with a block in front from Forrestal and a big way to start the second. You're faking to the tailback. Ridley's coming in motion. Eyes go to him. And then you get right behind Forrestal, who's leading the way. Elijah Qualls, the defensive end on the backside. Got a little bit out of position. So after the 33-yard run by Hurts, Damian Harris in recent years with Alabama. And this year, a freshman quarterback leading the way. A gap pressure is picked up by Bama. Hurts downfield, flag is down complete to Dieter. Ineligible receiver downfield. Number 87 on the offense is covered. Went downfield on the pass. As they will take a look at that play block here. The end of game. Offense. Five yard penalty. Still third down. You know, credit Washington's defense. Now third and 17. As to the 40 yard line is OJ Howard. A little something extra between these two squads as the big. 250 pound tight end was for the chance to pick up right where they left off in the first half with the field position edge. That rotation spin here, but it goes into the end zone. The first half, one for eight. Needs to get a hot hand again. Gaskin couldn't find hardly anything there. Holly. Matchup problem. Gonna keep it on the ground here. As Gaskin tried to turn, he's got some speed for a big guy. Browning, pressure on him again, Tim Williams. And he didn't get a good block. Watch Gaskins come over for Tony Brown. Tony Brown is blitzing from his star position. If Gaskin takes him on high, then Jake Browning can maybe step up in the pocket. Is that a face mask there? Could have been. Came across. Went over him. Browning had nowhere to go. Miscano, a line drive, hoping to get the bounce. 
Bucks again, and he does. Boy, Trump's been a roller coaster ride of results. Hurts. And a tuck cut back, and it was a good choice as Qualls hits him. High snap that's corralled, and then getting into the backfield was the area. Third and two, design quarterback run, lowers the shoulder and still muscling as JoJo Mayer. protecting it on that play. Incomplete as O.J. Howard. And Mr. Blackledge watching a lot of film. They're going to get a hold, though, in the interior of the offensive. Holding, offense, number 74, 10-yard penalty, yeah. Second down. Cam Robinson was pulling on that play. So second and 18 now. As Hurts to pass again. Then tucks, runs, tries to spin free, and there's a fumble! The ball is on the ground, and Alabama recovers it with the freshman Jones. Not unable to fall on it. This was the break they needed. Best in the country at forcing turnovers. They get the ball on the ground, but Wu Ching not able to fall on it. It squirts away, and Jonah Williams, the former high school teammate of Jake Browning, recovered it from Play clock down inside of two again. They're not going to get this play off. It's they didn't get it off. And there are some freshman moments. Alabama. Delay of game. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Third down. Offense heading in the wrong direction. And Scarborough... We'll get it back out towards the and not seen anything happen. But this award winner being attended to another high booming kick inside the 10 again for each bowl for a hundred thousand dollar endowment scholarship to each university. As Coleman haven't taken that deep shot to John Ross yet. This Browning is under pressure, Jonathan. Snap. He wasn't ready for it. Browning has to just fall on it near the five-yard line. Heels in the back of the end zone. Able to get it away. What a great kick. And it didn't go very far, but he kicked it away from Diggs. I think he's going to go roughing. Which will have big implications. Running into the kicker by the defense. That penalty is declined. That snap defensively, it draws the you know it drew, drew the early snap. That's a five-yard penalty delay. Yard line. You get a field goal and a punt on your first two. Hurts. Wow, nice play. by Jalen Johnson. He's looked at on third down. What a bad run all the way. Taken down again as Jalen Johnson. Take Scott, hangs it up there again. Holding, offense, number 55. The 10 yard penalty will be tacked on to the end of the kick. First down. Rounding now. A lot of time on the rollout first down. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go, though. Excellent coverage now. Rounding has missed his last six. Attempts. Gaskin trying to bounce it to the outside. But it was Averitt who first talked all week long. It's six in the box, can handle the run. This is a different ball game. And the Washington offense is struggling with that. Third and ten. Can Browning find something? Long pass to the perimeter and ahead for the first down. He's that guy number one could be the one to deliver on it. Gaskin, look at the tie. Receivers in front of them. Second and eight. Coleman has to Sean Hand for the fourth seeded Huskies. Browning sprinting near side and just beyond the reach of Fulton. going to roll the dice. No, quick, quick kick. kick. He's done this two times this year. And he gets off a really good one. Look at this. Wow. Bounce inside the five. 
so they don't can... Harris stacked up for a loss. Here in Alabama as well. Hurts trying to get out of the end zone and only able to gain maybe a yard and a half. Play action and complete to O.J. Howard, and all of a sudden, Bama. Hurts, he's early on. And he gets free again. Look at Bo go. Scarborough inside the 10. The time is rolling late. To make a big play. This last touchdown run may be the capital for Alabama in this one. And the big fella shows it. It's a perimeter run. Saul Wuching is going to make a mistake. He's going to come inside. And Bo Scarborough is going to break two tackles. First, Greg Gaines, number 99, has a shot at him. Then Jojo McIntosh. Neither one can get him on the ground. And Big Bo not only gets a big guard yardage play, he gets a touchdown to put Alabama up 24 to 7. From Alabama moments ago, a sensational 68-yard touchdown run by Bo Scarborough. Here's John Ross. Can he deliver something? Trying to get to the outside. I think we're in. Just near the line. Trying to set up the screen to Gaston. Runs outside of the blocks and makes it. And complete for a first down to Pettis. They're at 166 and 7 right now. First down run by second and eight. Browning steps up and goes down again. Jonathan, oh. Crimson fans, smelling blood in the water. Here's a shot downfield that had no chance other than Minka Fitzpatrick. Spano, once again, cross field as it'll settle in down near the 20 National titles. Saban sitting on five right now. Hurts throws it away with the area. They get everybody's best shot, and they still win. Here is the star of the day, Scarborough, just a yard down. Third and nine. And it's Hurts with plenty of time, but he threw it high and behind. Coaches, if things were going good, we'd kind of lighten up on guys. Nick said you can't do that. Another big wave punt as Pettis tries to find something. And he finds a whole bunch of time. PlayStation Fiesta Bowl is still to come your way. Browning, harassed, escapes. A couple of flags down. As would normally be the case. Illegal substitution. The offense had 12 players on the field. It's a five-yard penalty. Repeat first down. So after the penalty of first and 15, as they go with the draw to Gaskin. And he works his way to the 12th. Face. But totally different teams when they played them. Complete for a first down. We haven't seen a lot of downfield. That's going to be a name we're going to talk about a lot in two days. We're going to talk about nonstop all next year. Alabama then beat Washington 26 to 13. Second and seven. As Maverick in his second half, and he was probably the most talked about offensive weapon for Washington leading up to this. That happened yet again. Another New Jersey product in this secondary. Nearly mucked that. But Diggs able to control to make their way to the college football playoff national championship. Our Darius Stewart with a good carry there. A gain of nine. Given his friend in the preparation of game plans. And will take over as the new offensive coordinator.
Crossing midfield is Scarborough. And Scarborough turned it into a first down. And here he will add to his total by a yard and a half. And Hurts on third and six. We will check on the mark there. Big jumbo package comes on. And behind Deron Payne uh, and Jonathan stop. Allen, they can't find much that time as King could their offense find enough ways to score points, and they have not been able to. As Fuller will take it ahead. Dante Pettis not in action with a right knee injury. As Browning's going to crank it up downfield. And that drips from this Washington pass offense. Long throw near sideline again to Fuller. Lay got pressure, able to pick it up. Downfield goes Browning and throws short of Josh Preston over 200 total yards. A mighty task to go up against this Bama D. As Tony Brown had coverage that time on four. And there's a fight now. Back near the 35-yard line. They're going to separate them. Well, Reuben, Floyd's, uh, Reuben Foster's been in a couple scuffles here. There are two fouls, both of which occurred after the play, so it will be third down. Unsportsmanlike conduct, offense, number 56. Unsportsmanlike conduct, defense, number 93. Those are the first unsportsmanlike fouls on those players. Here, heading into a national championship game. Mr. Browning is going to feel that one there at USC, and everybody who's played it, they say that's the difference, 22 and 56. Desperation heave on fourth and 17, and fittingly, add another defensive gem. Mika Fitzpatrick with the interception. He had a 100-yarder earlier this year, this time taken down from behind. His sixth interception of the year. It was over. There were two unsportsmanlike conduct fouls committed, both by Alabama. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Number two, unsportsmanlike conduct. Number 98, both of those fouls will be enforced half the distance to the goal. It will be Alabama's ball, first down. Second year as the coordinator here at Alabama, the first year. 24 to seven is the final here in the college football playoff semifinal. 